We turn now to learning Mandarin. A new Taiwan Europe Connectivity Scholarship has welcomed its first cohort of European exchange students to Taiwan. Eleven Czech students have been studying Mandarin at Taiwanese universities with support from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The scholarship aims to strengthen friendly ties and build on Europe and Taiwan's shared political ideals. The 11 Czech scholarship students show off their new Chinese skills for the camera. They've been studying two months at National Sun Yat-sen and Zhengzhou universities, thanks to the Taiwan Europe Connectivity Scholarship. In September, Milos Vistrichil, president of the Czech Senate, visited Taiwan, a trip that led to the birth of the program. It promotes links between universities, encouraging academic exchange and collaboration, and attracting European students to study Chinese in Taiwan. This scholarship uh, uh, enabled them not only to uh, study the exchange programs, but also uh, to study Mandarin Chinese when they are in Taiwan. So uh, this is really a wonderful opportunity for them. And I hope that uh, when they go back, they can uh, introduce this program to their friends and to, uh, uh, to, to their classmates. The foreign ministry announced 50 spaces for Czech scholars. This first cohort shared their experiences so far, including favorite foods and places they visited, and introduced themselves in Mandarin. Earlier this month, nine students at New York University's Shanghai campus were detained by Chinese police and two injured, prompting the mayor of Prague's Danek Hrib to draw a comparison between Taiwan and China. I believe that learn about the Chinese culture on Taiwan is much better than to learn about the Chinese culture on mainland China uh, because obviously it's better to do that in a country that shares our values. Krib himself studied in Taiwan as an exchange student 15 years ago. He was impressed by Taiwan's democracy and free society. Now Taiwan-Czech friendship looks set to go even further despite the challenges of the pandemic.